children we are going to discuss about a variable mass system you are familiar with the the idea of variable mass system many systems which move but their mass keeps changing with time the best example i can put you is a rocket propulsion a rocket will be ejecting gases uh, burnt gases so the system's mass keeps decreasing or you can consider the example of a conveyor belt which is being loaded with some objects on it as the belt is made to move with some constant velocity the mass of the system is increasing the belt system similarly you can take a, a truck which is carrying sand so if such load is going to uh, lose some sand at certain rate because of some leakages it's uh, it also becomes an example for variable mass system i think you got the point if you can take a balloon you pierce a small hole uh, you can see the escape of the air through that hole as now the air escape out you see that balloon keeps moving in different directions so this is also an example for variable mass system so any moving system we are we are more interested in the moving systems and uh, we are considering such systems in which mass keeps varying with time and we are uh, calling such system as variable mass system now here and now that i am showing some image of a rocket you can see that fire which is ejected out the gases uh, i mean the gases that are ejected out is pushing the rocket up as you know the third law the thrust due to the gases ejected gases so where is the thrust acting the ejected gases are providing some force onto the rocket it's yes it's interesting how come something is ejected from the rocket system is giving force to the rocket system to move up the ejection is downward but the rocket is going upward it's so anything that is ejected uh, out uh, as shown in this example is providing some kind of force on that system which we can call it as a kind of thrust so let us put up some mathematical equations to handle these kind of situations so let me consider some system now i'm considering some system of mass m let's say the system is going with some velocity v say any small particle of mass dm moving with a velocity u is added to the system so you can feel that u is greater than v now the resulting situation is the system mass now would become m plus dm let us say the velocity of the system get changed to v plus dv the system say going in the same direction let us say now this is the situation at some instant of time t and in a very small interval let us say
at the instant t plus dt in a very small interval the system is now m plus dm because of addition of some dm we are just talking in a very small interval this might continue for the system the mass may keep keep on adding so or maybe the system might lose the mass or gain the mass so i am just considering some particular situation we are trying to put up some equation and generalize suppose say there is some external force acting on the system maybe the system might move under the influence of some external agent like a conveyor belt is being provided with some external force uh, due to the motor or maybe the rocket that is going up is experiencing some external gravitational pull downward as well external force due to the rocket's engine upward so there are two forces in that case so likewise you got some external forces to the system let us see how this force is going to be see we know that for the momentum to, to change there should be some force here the we are considering the impulse if any external force whatever be the source of the force any external force f let it be there suppose if f external is external force on system then we can write f external dt is equal to change in momentum this is impulse right in a very short interval dt the change in momentum is final momentum minus initial momentum final momentum is we can write m plus dm into v plus dv minus we can write uh, initial momentum is uh, you got it as mv and uh, dm into u let's uh, the fx null dt is mv plus mdv plus vdm plus dm into dv minus mv minus dmu you can see here uh, that this mv and this mv mv can get cancelled and you can see this thing is very negligible because say dm is 10 power minus 100 dv is also some 10 power minus 100 you can see in all these expressions dm is there this is 10 power minus 100 but this is 10 power minus 200 which is very negligible compared to that so we can neglect this part so we can write this as uh, m dv m dv you can see a dm here a dm here i can take dm comma v minus u i can write or else i can also write that as minus of u minus v dm that is the impulse we neglected a small part which is very very negligible dm into dv so that f external can be written as m dv by dt minus what is this u minus v is velocity of dm with respect to m that is called as the relative velocity of the small added part with respect to the major part of the system we can write the equation in this manner we got some equation now We can conclude something over here. Say like that uh, dm by dt 
f external dt uh, plus u relative dm by dt is equal to m dv by dt. We call this as the thrust due to dm on system. Maybe this dm in this example added in as in some other examples it is ejected mass or in some other examples it is some ablated mass or destroyed mass because you can see the gas has burned to the fuel fuel is burning and combusting to some gases there is some destruction of mass there so what is this right side is m into a a is the acceleration of that system but this u relative would be uh, velocity of dm with respect to m dm is that elementary particle so velocity of dm with respect to m let us try to use this equation but one thing i would like to add here when keep in your mind when you are using this you are working with these situations if that dm is uh, dm is ejected then as like an example of a rocket so the force the thrust should be providing it uh, motion that means rocket should be accelerated or should be helped to move the thrust that is developed by the dm mass should be helping the rocket system to move so you can visualize the force on the rocket suppose if at all if this dm it's not ejected if it is added to the system then it the dm definitely when mass increases you should see there is some opposition towards the velocity that means the force that is developed the thrust that is developed should be opposing that motion or opposing the force which is causing the motion when some mass is added to the system so let us see this application in the coming examples let us apply this in the coming examples i am once again writing the equation here in this small space the external force the external force can be plus thrust thrust due to the dm thrust due to dm is equal to m a or m dv by dt here is some example a double stage rocket has initial mass mi gas is exhausted from the rocket at a constant rate of dm by dt with an exhaust velocity u relative to the rocket when the mass of the rocket reaches mu the first state of m is disengaged from the rocket then the rocket continues second stage at the same rate dm by dt and the exhaust velocity u as in the first stage until it reaches emf if the gravity is neglected and the rocket has started from rest the velocity of the rocket at the end of first stage is So we are asked to give the velocity of the rocket at the end of first stage. How can we use the equation? So there is gravitational forces asked to be ignored. Now we consider maybe it is into a region where 
there is no gravity. So initial mass is m i is given, the rate of ejection is dm by dt. So here mass of the system is uh, decreasing. So we can write, uh, we know that f external plus uh, v relative dm by dt equal to m dv by dt is the equation. As the gravity is asked to be neglected, we can take this as zero. And uh, relative to rocket, the ejected or exhaust mass velocity is u is given. So let's write u. And uh, you can see the exhaust is uh, exhausted at the rate dm by dt. So I'm writing it as minus dm by dt because m is decreasing and the thrust should be encouraging the rocket to move so acceleration should be positive so as dm gets negative because m is uh, decreasing so i'm putting a negative sign so u minus dm by dt and uh, this is m dv by dt so this is the equation so we are asked to give the velocity so let us, um, we can realize the things uh, minus dm by m, that can be dv on the right side. I'm not going to take integral on both sides. Taking integral on both sides, I would have we we'll just work out this in the next page. U minus dm by m equal to dv we arrived at. So let us integrate. Initial mass is mi and it is told by the end of first stage, the rocket has reached a mass called mu. And let's say it's told initially it begins from rest and let's say it got some velocity v. So u, so this can become my integral minus dm by m is uh, logarithm of m. So minus as it is logarithm m. So m initial to mu, that's v minus zero is v on the right side. So finally on rearranging, so do I get long EMI by mu should be the answer. So this is the velocity of the rocket at the end of the first stage.